All right, it's a beautiful day. We got another giant box of Unharps to unbox. Um, we got some Niega in here and also another maker. I can't recall the name, but for the sake of brevity, we're just gonna get right into it. We're gonna get unboxing here. Let's get this cut open. Got big box of harps from Ukraine. And some of these forms for the Niega or Naya, I have not seen before, so I think it is important that we vlog this. Let's just, we'll cut this box until it's down to nothing. Where are you at? Here we go. Don't let the box defeat you on unboxings. That's rule number one. Also, rule number two, don't swear, even if you're excited. One thing we don't want in our unboxings is profanity. Let's see what all is here. This is going to be a bigger unboxing. I don't remember how many I ordered. Let's see if I can get through it without cutting myself. Look at how many. I got cases for, I think, all of them. Now, the first one we're going to do is this great behemoth here. That's the word of the day. I unboxed uh, some giant Gorka yesterday, and I used the word behemoth. So, slide you to the side. This is a Niega or Naya orbit, and it is as large as my head. It looks like, looks to be, I'm glad he built the case for it too. That's nice. It looks to be the same format as his smooth designs. We'll see if I can get this untied. Oh, he tied it in a way that I could just pull it and untie it. I like that. Uh, he didn't tie them with a knife knot. If anyone's wondering what a knife knot is, a knife knot is a knot that you need a knife to remove, which I wouldn't be cutting these leather straps either. Oh, that is a hefty harp. This weekend is the weekend of very large harps. Now, I'm betting this is going to be low. These harps are ice cold. They just came. Now, so I just got delivered a very short time ago. I had time to unbox the Paradkin. We see a very, and it's actually got a little bit of steam settling on it. Very large. Same format. This is just uh, like an upscaled version of his of his smooth. Pretty low. Feels similar to his holotrope, although it is it is quite a bit fatter than the holotrope. Maybe a quarter inch longer. Very long throw harp. Okay, we're going to set that off to the side. We're going to have to oil these as we go. Should have probably let them warm up a little bit. They are ice freezing cold. It's, I think we're sitting at maybe 23 degrees outside here in Kansas. So it's not as cold as it can get, but it's, it'd be cold out there. How's the weather out where y'all are? Where y'all are? You got... You got some cold out there. I know some friends uh, and some subscribers live up in uh, Alaska and it gets plenty cold out there. On the East Coast, they were supposed to be getting some weather as well. Some of this rain. Yes, case seems to work very nicely. For the orbit. Let's see if we can find some of these other forms. I'm probably not going to show every single harp here because we have many of the smooth. Those will be for another time. And we have some duskin. Nice. That's a nice touch. We have some of the eye. One of them has come out of the case. We're just going to keep you coming out of your case. Oh, good. No damage. These are Niega's full size, or only stainless steel harp. They're completely stainless. The frames are stainless. The reeds are stainless. And they're quite beautiful. I have an eye on them. I have one in my collection. It's not hanging up, but it's in my drawer. I do carry it on me occasionally, especially when it's raining outside because I know that the rain isn't going to harm it because the reed isn't carbon steel. I see tight gaps, slightly recurved trigger. Oh, 
That's all I need to play that. That is that is a killer harp. Very sensitive, very loud. That reed on it feels like it has a lot of snap to it. It's bam, 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 bam. I was punching back pressure and open. Uh, I was punching in and out breaths and open close into the resistance, into the back pressure, which is what I call the resistance that a harp gives you. And it was just, it was just working like a dream. We're going to set you to the side. I'll put you back in the case. It's probably going to be a little bit longer of a video, even though I'm not going to do every single format. All the eye are taken. The, there should be a holotrope in here. There should be that orbit. Those are taken. A lot, a lot of them, a lot of people request them before they're done. Let's see here, we have a D sharp. One thing I remember, one of the first harps I got from Niego, probably a year and a half ago, was his D-sharp. And I remember that very loud. He does his D-sharps. And a lot of makers, their, their harps tuned to D-sharp or thereabouts are really loud, really sensitive. We'll see how this one is. Every harp's different. This is a little bit different than his normal fare. It's got decoration on it and a little tail with thread on it. And he started labeling all the notes, so it's labeled D-sharp. Oh yeah, that's what I've come to expect from Niega or Naya of Ukraine. Just good harps. That's a sensitive, loud. I've got a little bit of melodic nature in there. I was hitting some open clothes on it, and it was just doing wonderful keep this unboxed. I'm going to keep, I'm going to keep uh, hitting them with the oil because right now they're kind of fogging up, kind of like ice cold glasses would be when you walk into a room. So we want to keep the moisture off them, keep the oil on them, putting them back in my cases as we go. What else? I know there's some other Resting forms. Oh yes, this is the shaman pattern. The eye one I refer to as the eye or the shaman's eye. This is the shaman pattern. And they are very thick, very robust frames with decorations on them. I like how he decorates harps. Very nice bell ring has a um, outer space equality without feeling techno at all. I like, I like that. I like you harp. I, I like every harp I've unboxed so far, and we're not gonna hit all the smooth ones. We've heard a lot of the smooth ones in the past. We try to keep these unboxings all under twenty minutes. Although some unboxings you're gonna see here will be forty minutes plus. People don't want to sit through a forty minute unboxing. Uh, but if I started doing full-size unboxings, you'd get more of what it takes to unbox and clean that many harps. And these, there's no real cleanup other than just oiling them, wiping them off, keeping the humidity from the room from condensating on them. When I'm unboxing uh, large orders of forged harps, there's a little bit of, oh, that is beautiful. This is, this is the holotrope. This is his deep bass. I have one, you can see it hanging on my wall. This one already has a, uh, is going to a good home. There are so many unboxings. If I could afford to, I would quit my job and just do unboxings and make harps and run the harp And maybe someday in the future, that might be an option. It's not an option yet. A little bit of leather residue left on here, little flakes of leather, because these are brand new. Look at, look at that. That is some beautiful engraving. He's been either brazing or filling his uh, triggers with solder, then polishing them absolutely smooth. I like that when the when the trigger loops filled with solder and, solder and polished like that in lieu of just putting a daub of solder on there. It's much, much cleaner. I think that there's less chance that this would ever come out because it's within the trigger loop. Nice, gentle slope. If somebody were, on, were to want to pluck outward, there's no place to catch or drag. <laughs> I 
it does have a good tone to it. It is... Oh, that's a, that may be untuned. It's already got a home it's going to. I've got one of his that's untuned as well. I like... I like a harp that's not to note, because uh, I do a lot of meditative play. Uh, some people, especially when they want to play around others, it's good to have a harp in note. But uh, one thing to note is that uh, tuning a harp isn't a note, of, isn't a mark of quality. It's more of bringing it up to a note where p other people can meet on that note and be in that key. If I'm even phrasing that right, I'm not a musician. I am not. I am a seasoned noisemaker meditative player i'll put you right back where you live in your case we've got most of the unique designs there's a couple more i in here the i are i won't play all the i the i are all they're all fantastic yes i whole bunch of smooth now these other ones um vasily dimitriev Believe. Let's go ahead. Let's come back down here. You'll see more of the chaos. Yeah, of all the harps. Vasily Dimitrov. I thank you, uh, Oleg Niega, for writing the name on here because I didn't have time. I'm doing this while everyone's taking their naps to look up the name on this. I wanted some more budget friendly harps for people to start off that had good quality. And this is who he re recommended. And he went out and he got them for me. I see smaller harps. They look to be well made. We'll find out. I was looking for an alternative. I was wondering if Vandrak's son has begun building yet. And he said, no, he is not. Um, because Vandrak passed away. He's like, well, there's somebody else I can refer to you for those. I see pretty tight gaps. Very, very dainty harps. <laughs> The sound on that, these were very, very affordable. The sound on that wasn't bad. These are brass. We'll play a few more of them. I wanted harps where somebody could get started at the lowest possible cost. Play one of the steel ones. Recurved bent trigger. <laughs> Yeah, that's not bad at all. Look up the price on that, but if um, if you can get a good, decently playing harp for around ten to twelve bucks ship, that is a that would be ideal. That's where I was will, I was looking to uh, fill back in that place because I'm almost out of the Vandrak that Vandrak uh, took up uh, a small dainty. Oh, let's turn the microphone back towards a small dainty melodic instrument that anyone could start out playing, and that's not expensive. A lot taller of a trigger than I'm used to, but plays very easily. Oh yeah, if I can, I'll have to look at the price on that. If I can sell those for sixteen dollars shipped, thing I was, I always include shipping on domestic orders. That would be a heck of a good deal. Anyways, that's gonna be it for this unboxing. What harp am I gonna play? I'm gonna play this giant. This giant behemoth. Behemoth's the word of the day. I've been unboxing lots of big harps. I love y'all. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe for more Harpery. If you're interested in any, any of these harps, some of them will be up on the website, theharpery.com, within the next month or so. Um, many of these others will sell directly over Facebook. I'm the Harpery on Facebook. I'm also at bebcorp1 at gmail.com, B-E-B-B-C-O-R-P-1 at gmail.com. There's a ton more harps here to unbox. I've got another unboxing to do. I've got around another 100 harps I need to clean that have been forged from other makers. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe for more Harpery. I love y'all. Adios. Actually, we'll just do, we'll do for our thumbnail, we'll do a size comparison. Is that, good, is that a good thumbnail? Probably. I'm a stupid guy, so it's okay for me to look stupid in the thumbnail. I love y'all. Adios.